In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can separate all of your different audio sources for your stream so that you can have complete independent control over your game audio, your Discord chat, your music, and your microphone without having to spend any money on something like a GoXLR or an Elgato Wave microphone. And don't worry, I'm not gonna be asking you to install some super complicated software like Voice Meter. This new solution can be done completely within OBS Studio. Just before we dive into the tutorial, I'm sure most of you are well aware by now that Twitch recently suffered a major data breach. And so if you're reusing that password elsewhere on the internet, you're leaving all of your accounts at risk. It's high time that you started using a password manager, like today's video sponsor, NordPass, where you can generate super secure and unique passwords for every website and then store them all securely in one vault. NordPass will then automatically fill out login information for you from their browser extensions or mobile apps, so there's no need to remember passwords or reuse login information ever again. So do yourself a favor and grab the NordPass premium plan with 50% off plus an additional four months for free by going to nordpass.com slash gamingcareers or using code gamingcareers at checkout. All right, so to get started, we need to download the Win Capture Audio plugin for OBS Studio, which I've linked down in the description below. It is worth mentioning that this plugin is still in beta testing, but I've been uh, using it for the past few weeks and I've had absolutely zero issues. So download either the executable for easy install or the zip folder if you wanna drag and drop this manually into your plugins folder. Once installed, you should have this new option in your sources menu called Application Audio Output Capture. But before we go about adding all of our individual audio sources, you want to jump into the settings, go to the audio tab, and just make sure that desktop audio and desktop audio 2 are both set to disabled, and this will prevent us getting any duplicated audio. Whilst we're in here, you might as well make sure that your mic auxiliary audio is set to the correct microphone, and then once that's all set up properly, you can click OK to close down the settings. Since we're going to be adding all of our audio sources individually, it can get quite repetitive to add them to every single scene that you have. So instead, I'd recommend setting up a nested scene to put all of our individual audio sources within. To do that, let's add a new scene and name this nice and easily. I like to do NS in square brackets for nested scene and then audio sources. OK, so let's add our first audio source, which will be our music player. Now it's important to note that you actually have to have the application open that you want to capture. So for me, that's Spotify, but if you use iTunes or Deezer or Amazon Music, you just need to have the application open and ideally playing some music as well. So I'll start playing some music using Spotify and then back within OBS, within our nested scene, we want to add a new source uh, using the new application audio output capture. And then you probably wanna name this just to keep things organized. So I'm gonna call this music since we're gonna be capturing our music audio source. And the only option we need to change here is the window. We want to find the right executable. For me, that's spotify.exe. And then we can leave the window match priority at match title, otherwise find window of same executable, which just means no matter what song is playing in Spotify, it's gonna be capturing the audio from that application. Everything can be left at the defaults and then we can click okay. And if we look down here at the audio mixer, we can see that we have a new meter here for our music. And if I was to then uh, pause Spotify, you can see the meter comes back down again and this is completely independent of any of the other sounds happening on my desktop so any system sounds or game sounds or discord audio won't be coming through this music channel so next you want to repeat this process of adding your audio sources and capturing the specific window maybe you want to do one for your teammates using discord uh, one for your game audio one for your system sounds or one for your browser audio if you're the kind of person that likes to watch things like youtube whilst you're on stream once you've gone through and added all of the different audio sources you want to capture, we can head across to any of our other scenes like this example game scene and actually add the audio sources nested scene as a source. So come across to sources here, click the plus icon, look for scene, and then we're going to add our existing nested scene of audio sources. And you can see as soon as I click that, we then in our audio mixer get the options for all of the different audio sources that we added within that nested scene. So now you have complete independent control over all of your different audio sources for your stream. So if you need to change volumes or mute certain sources or even add advanced filters to uh, individual sources, you can do so. A couple of advanced bonus tips if you own something like a stream deck, you can add keys to individually control each of these audio sources. So without having to alt tab, you can quickly lower the volume of your teammates in Discord, for example. Uh, you do need to use the OBS Tools plugin from Bar Radar, but once you've done that, you can just drag onto a certain key on your Stream Deck and then control an OBS audio source directly. Also, if you want OBS Studio to automatically 
uh, lower and raise your music volume when you start and stop speaking. You can do that by doing something called audio ducking or side chaining directly within OBS. All you have to do is add a filter to your music source, um, which is the compression filter. And then on the side chain slash ducking source, you set that to be your microphone. Now you probably have to play with some of the other settings here like ratio and threshold. If you want to learn exactly how to do that, I have a really quick but detailed four minute guide that I'll leave linked up in the top corner as well as in the description down below. Finally, if you haven't yet added any filters to your microphone, I'd absolutely recommend you check out my five steps to make your microphone sound pro video where I go through how you can use OBS Studio to uh, add filters to your microphone to make it sound better. It's a banger, I promise. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It's completely free to do. And if you click the bell, it'll notify you of any new uploads on this channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.